What's up guys, welcome to this week's patch note video, which is very much going to be necromancy orientated, of course, who would have thought, but uh, this week we have a lot to cover by the look of it, like, like look, there's, there's, there's loads and loads of stuff to look at, uh, and there's probably some stuff that we're anticipating that we've already heard is probably going to happen, and then... Hopefully, there's some stuff that we didn't have a clue was going to happen. But anyway, hopefully, you find the video useful, and uh, let's just get started. So, it says, the journey continues with necromancy this week in RuneScape. Necromancy is alive. With a launch necromancy, we had not only RuneScape's 29th skill, but its fourth combat style, and it has been an absolute blast. From the dedicated racers to the cinematic photographers, necromancy has had players sprinting all around, taking part in quests, rituals, and epic combat encounters, and we have loved watching everyone's adventures and escapades. Here's uh, Here are just some of the fantastic things that have come out of the skill already. Watching a heat map of players uh, first hours in um. Holy hell. Yeah, this is pretty much what, what I can imagine, to be fair. Like, 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 let's be honest, it was pretty much just this for, for the first hour. Uh, to a vis visualization of the race to 99. So I'll link this post in here if you want to watch this. Uh, but this is looks like the XP rates, I think. Yeah, it seems like it is. Well, there you go. To the, many, uh, to the many beautiful screenshots of Um and its surrounding. People took loads of screenshots for it. Perfect, cool. The journey continues. As we mentioned in the journey, it begins blog. The launch is just the beginning of the skill. We will continue to work on iterating uh, on the skill going forward with the players helping to shape what it is to come in the future. We have our new weekly update blog coming each Friday to let you all know what is on the radar and to give a heads up on changes coming your way. We have also dedicated this whole month to focus firmly on working with you to make Necromancy even better. So they're going to be posting every single Friday as well. I think I mentioned this uh the last time i got a news video i didn't cover that friday post I, I just didn't get around to it which is is my bad my bad but um there's probably gonna be some information on it in here anyway and i'll content i'll get all the other ones in the future world's first race with a new skill um came a new race to the top of the leaderboards and players have not disappointed with blazing speeds and something 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 a dedicated few players have already reached 99 and 120 necromancy we would first let congratulate uh but ba ba i'm really sorry i can't pronounce your name ballet i was gonna say it's ballet uh the first to reach 99 in and under just freaking hell that is so quick Damn, okay. And it's day for being the first to reach 120 in a staggeringly quick 71 hours and 21 minutes. Damn, okay. The race has been a wonderful showing of community spirit and the race's determination. Founders Pack. This is the thing about the outfits and stuff. Uh, with Necromancy in full swing and players getting their hands on the upgradable Necromancy outfits. It's time to think fashion. Uh, you can get it on... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Ah, oh, wait. Okay, better yet, if you're on the fence about kickstarting your Necromancy journey and don't have membership, you can grab the Founders Pack and a month membership for this bunch of money. So, you can get, you get like a little bundle thing. Prime Gaming. Uh, this month's Prime Gaming drop contains an Umbral Chest and a Currency Pack. 35 keys and 200 rune coins. Nice. So, that'll probably be tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, it is tomorrow. Live stream calendar, Wednesday, August 16th. We've got Necromancy skill chill in chat. So, if you've got some questions and stuff, You'll be able to you be able to ask that, but they'll be playing they'll be playing necromancy there. Treasure Hunter, we've got Solace Showdown come in. Um just want to see if there's any Okay, so there's a new boulder pet and a new running scared walkover ride come in. And then let's see what else we've got here. Tinker's workshop. Tinker's workshop will stack up modifiers for massive multipliers over to eight times. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, the bit that we're all probably here for is the patch notes bit to see what's going to be changed. So this is the Necromancy hotfixes. It says, when depleted and relogging, the Multiply Glyph one should no longer work until it has been repaired. Uh, unpowered Necromantic Seals will now drop as expected during the Tier 90 Equipment Upgrade task for those with maximum reputation. Uh, Zuck can now be killed in hard mode as intended. Week, the amount of XP gained from ritual random events. Necromancer's Tome of Experience are no longer deposited inside the ritual reward chest. They instead go directly to your inventory on the floor. Uh, capped the types of random events that can spawn on tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 rituals. There's something in this that was like making the level up stupidly quick. So they changed that. The 
Appraisal Codex no longer gets removed from the player's inventory if they select cancel when unlocking Brian's. That's good. <laughs> I think they actually returned most of this. I've not heard a single person say that they lost the Appraisal Codex and didn't get it back. So freaking huge win from Jagex if they've managed to like get every single person their codex back super quick um I, I don't know it's pretty impressive because a lot of people lost this um when it when it actually happened so the broadcast regarding the maximum virtual level now includes necromancy the bone crusher will now crush all selected bone types the anku the drops the anku residue uh, will no longer reward xp when killed the our people was farming over and over again i think the hardened uh, zook cape is no longer lost on death animated drumsticks from her mod have had their drop rate tweaked in order to give it a higher drop chance the more bosses boss kills you have so this is actually a buff in drops cool so you won't go as dry on on the drumsticks the 200 mil xp in all skills broadcast no longer ignores necromancy rassiel is now poison immune because it was freaking broken apparently but it's still a quick kill anyway ghost wall now deals damage when a player is hit by the ability because that was just completely broken i believe when it first started but these are hot fixes these have already been done right fixed double dragon chests from giving out last wills and instead exchanged them from oddments fixed an issue that prevented some players from having a chance at getting necromancy's flippers if they checked uh, out of the dialogue with the kill with killy fixed an oh that's freaking annoying okay fixed an issue that prevented affected players from being able to complete the tomes of the warlock quest as they could not hand in all four books Eating a ghostly soul no longer causes an error message. Divine locations and fires can no longer be placed down within the city of a ritual site. Okay. Um, <laughs> challenge gems can no longer be placed. Ah, oh, thank freaking God. Yes. Okay. I thought I stopped seeing this. Some people just want to watch the world burn, literally. Like people like light fires everywhere, which to make make it lag. But also people putting challenge gems on the ritual, like glyphs and the repair bit and on the actual thing. So you, you, it was a pain in the ass to try and actually start your rituals screw you guys statually <laughs> what the frick man tell us this fragment of anima will now drop at your feet uh i think it does anyway maybe you can see it now but uh it's it's yeah i don't know if this is still in the ground or not but cool added in a watch cutscene or skip cutscene option when entering the city of unplayers for who are experiencing long wait times very black screen all right necromancy general this is yeah, this is new stuff you can no longer teleport while sitting on the bench. You can no longer wear a bed sheet while sitting on a bench. XP lance rewarded after completing city from area tasks can now be used on the necromancy skill players. Uh, players that have already claimed the rewards can reclaim the lance by speaking to the task master. Uh, master. Okay. A pop up will now appear after leveling to level 30 necromancy, explaining alteration glyphs. Oh, nice. Oh, good. A pop up will now appear after leveling to level 60 explaining larger ritual sites when hovering over the input uh, items in the ritual selection interface a tooltip will now display the amount you have in your focus storage and in your backpack oh, since they've had a lot loads more tutorial stuff which is nice if you have none of the same focus objects left the highest tier focus object will now be placed on the pedestal after finishing a ritual rather than the lowest a new necromancy gameplay setting option has been added which will allow ritual output to be sent to the focus storage rather than the ritual chest okay so this is if you have like um i don't know if you've got something in the chest like necroplasm it'll just rather put it in your output it'll just put it in your focus chest again so you just keep looping it through that's pretty convenient equipment upgrade uh, boss drops are now being correctly rewarded to party members who do necromancy damage to the required bosses Okay, glyphs are no longer changing to uncovered state after tutorial dialogue to clean them, allowing the player to dust mounds and progress. Additionally, previously affected mounds are set to tutorial dialogue to dusty state. Okay, a message is now output in the chat box when a focus object is used from the focus storage. A message is in the chat. Okay, so there's chat box messages for uh, when focus objects are removed and when a ritual is completed. Ah, it gives you the rewards as well. Ah, hell yes. Nice. Cool. Equipment upgrade screen now defaults to highest uncompleted tier. If upgrading to tier 70 plus, will, uh, if upgrading to tier 70 plus, will default to power if unlocked. Uh, okay. All right, yeah, because it kept going. To, okay, that's just like an option in the in the 
creation page thing. The living death ability now works with dive and bladed dive. That got me killed a few times. I'm glad that's been fixed. When cooking ghost soul, it now correctly cycles through all ghost soul in the player's inventory. Using Nettie's death certificate will work on ghost bankers. Um, work on a ghost banker tells the player they have banked it and the quest journal mentions this as well. Thank God. Someone in my chat helped me with this, to be fair. They were like, oh, I did the same. But if you use the, the will on the bank, you chuck it in the bank rather than progressing in the quest. And then the quest seems to get stuck, but it's actually just in your bank. And yeah, but someone in chat saved me. So thank you if that was you. Typos in Killy Row and that old black, black magic dialogue have been fixed. The Spirit of War will now appear in the quest list as Spirit, as spirit of War. Spirit of War will now be Spirit of War. Okay. Um, the, in order to be consistent with other quests, the space bar will now consistently work to select a ritual in the ritual selection interface. The dragon fire shield will now correctly all the way into an augmented version, necromancy version. Reapply the damage buff from stat boosting. Uh, whilst this team, whilst the team looks at more elegant replacement for the system, this was the overload, right? So, um, overloads got changed. I don't know if you guys saw this in the recent other post or heard about it. But overloads got changed, and now they've like they've put it back to how it is, so, and they're looking into like different ways to do it, which makes sense. We'll see what's happening, but basically they're looking, they're, they're they're nerfing a lot of stuff. It seems, but you know, we'll see what happens to it. I'll I'll keep you up to date. Uh, Rashiel's equipment will now be correctly augmentable. When using augmenters, perfect. So I've got a set of this ready, which we'll be using today. We'll probably later on stream. I'm going to augment it, get the perks done we'll on stream. I'll, I'll test them out and then we'll make a video. Players using legacy combat mode who logged enough necromancy went live, did not have legacy mode hit splash shown during combat. This has been fixed. Placing a conjure ability at the start of your evolution bar will no longer prevent other abilities on your bar from being triggered. I didn't know it did, to be fair. Once upon a time in Gilinor Quest, Scarecrow spot had been moved for better player access. Omen is now recognized for Jack of All Blades to be completed. We know that, guys. Omen is now recognized for the Master of All to be completed. My zombie can beat up your zombie achievement. Okay, it has been set to change my undead, blah, blah, blah. Requirements, okay, whatever. My skeleton can beat up your skeleton, my undead can beat up your undead. Area task achievements are now easier to complete for high level players. All right, listless dead NPC moved uh, to be more accessible. Killy will now prompt the player to check their ritual chests if they've already installed her tools. Good, so many people were like, In it, I, I made the tools for the quest and they're gone. Where are they gone? And in, in the chest, Killy will no longer let you reclaim the inert necromantic. A crystal if you have already gained the pulsating onyx Gilly will no longer let you reclaim the anku agitator if you already gained it uh duplicate skill guides uh, entries for the regular and uh, great ritual candle have been combined to one bone shield was overriding the shield level for the skill barricade the skill is now okay someone said this to me that barricade was a full duration it was a bug apparently it's been fixed nice uh attacking rock slugs with a conjure summoned will no longer and instantly despawn your conjure all methods of healing have be, have reduced effectiveness by 25 percent when holding black crystal reduce healing uh, a message will now appear in the player's chat box when so this is actually a, a nerf to the poison range build i believe because of the black crystal thing also i hear anyway but yeah right that was a long one that was a lot of stuff i was reading through those both uh, things but there's a few changes in here the overloads have been changed back to how they were um if there's loads of like quality of life fixes in here there's no, there's no drop nerf to um the bosses which is good you know people were saying i think some of the drops are going to get nerfed because of how common they are they're not which is nice i'm glad because it means that um there's no like mega mega rarity to these these gear sets and it means that low level players and casual players can get their hands on it and i'm glad i'm, I'm actually glad so the prices likely will come down at some point uh but, but right now they're going up because people want to buy it to augment it right uh, community stuff for some artwork here and so there's a little comic here um hey death guess what i realized once i mass necromancy i can bring bandos back <laughs> okay <laughs> and then we've got why uh what another comic here why do you strive for such fragile fleeting results i don't get these sort of things normally if only you use your time better to learn about more valuable assets for what purpose must you remain tethered to this world quit having fun ah oh, it's the free <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm so glad that's done, right? They stopped doing that now, freaking finally. And then we've got some... These are cool. These, they're playing cards. Very cool. Scaper screenshots as well. People were doing this on the ritual site of this bedsheet, man. And I kept thinking it was an event. 
there you go guys there's so much stuff in here hopefully found it useful uh, there's a lot there's a lot to listen to but congratulations to all the racers that got their positions that they wanted to and the, the world's first people as well of course and just, i hope you all had an absolute blast with necromancy i'll be testing out the 1095 gear later on tonight on stream and other than that i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye